in today's winning plate, how to be a road warrior when it comes to holiday travel. Nutrition consultant and regular PTL contributor Leslie Bonsi is here to help us not only keep healthy while on the road, but to save money as well with a few holiday travel hacks. I need this so bad because we are the people that stop at fast food every single time we're on the road. We get the bag of goodies at the little gas station rest stops. Not good. You know what? It happens to everybody. And we think at this time of the year, you're buying gifts for people. You don't right. want to be spending this extra money or necessarily taking the time that, you know, that takes you then longer to get where you're going. Right. Right. So what do you suggest? Okay. All right. So let's start with the beginning of the day. And first of all, I think it's a really good idea to think about packing. Look how adorable this little lunch box it is. is. It's a right bento front. box for kids. And so if we think about breakfast and people are running out the door, you can take with you peanut butter and a banana. Right. You could do that very easily. You could bring even like a little fruit bar with it. And that's going to be less money. You can buy them in bulk mm -hmm. than it is to get them. And I really love the idea of the oatmeal. And this is, is the oatmeal in, in there. Pack it yourself. There's oatmeal in there, there's protein powder in there, there's cranberries, and there's nuts. You can get hot water anywhere. You don't pay a cent for hot water. Right. There Boom. you go. You Simple to do. And that pumpkin pie spice is awesome on everything yeah. just to add some flavor. Pumpkin spice has really exploded, hasn't it? You know, it, it, it has, <laughs> and, one, and there's no calories in there. So That's those, really those are important. Secondly, it's the protein. And when we travel, this gets expensive, right? If you're right. going to stop and you're going to get a burger, and then you're not just going to get a burger because you're it's the fries and the shake. And the this shake, and right, that yeah. and everything mm -hmm. with it. So why not bring the protein with you? And so, first of all, options of even things like a turkey pepperoni. This is my husband's favorite. This is his go-to. Or turkey jerky. Okay. Because you're not getting as much fat. They're, they are shelf-stable. You can keep them in the car without worrying. I love the idea of something like these. The tuna packets. So these flavored tuna packets, this is awesome. And you can eat them as they are. You can have them with crackers. Even if you buy a side salad, you can put this on it and give it more flavor and it costs less money right. than doing it the other way around. And what about those who want dairy? So we have cheese. That is, this one can actually sit out for several hours without worried about doing that. About and cool. even the string cheeses, and you can bring a little brick pack. Mm -hmm. And this is a cheese for people who don't have dairy. There's options out there on the marketplace. You're not going to find dairy-free cheese when you're on the road in a gas no, station. Right. Not going to happen. Bring it and bring a brick pack for it. I also love the idea of this. This is a bean soup. You add hot water to it and that's it. You can get oh, it anywhere and right. you're getting vegetables and you're not going to find this when you're on the road, but it's very filling. It's very easy. You can even eat it in the car. Okay, so this is all very good. I'm, I'm wondering too about the driver. What do you do if you're the, if you're the driver and you don't really want to stop? Uh, how do you how do you eat because you can't eat soup while you're driving? No, I'm not sure necessarily. It's tried. dangerous. Right. It's dangerous. Yeah. But certainly something like the pepperoni because it's not greasy. Right. Even something like a string cheese and hopefully the co-pilot is helping That's out with me. this and say, Usually. all right, here, honey, I'm going to open this up <laughs> for you so we can grab it, not messy. And then along those lines, even produce because that's another thing people don't think about when they're traveling. Right. So here we have a freeze dried apple slice oh, and then great. also like a freeze dried mango. You can eat this in the car. It's not messy. It's not smelly. It doesn't rot. It's like none of those things. Yeah. Or I love this. this. These are roasted chickpeas. So another great option. Driver can eat. Everybody else can eat. And oh, guess what? It's a vegetable. Oh, yeah. Well, and I'm looking too. The great vitamin C or mm -hmm. a vitamin A rather and protein. Five grams of protein. They do. So. And they have fiber in mm -hmm. them. And most people are not going to open up a can of chickpeas and eat it in the car. Yeah. But this feels like a snack and right. a treat. Then. And this is great. And this. And you know, and these kinds of Thing. So they're already packaged and we could even swap out what we add. So how about a little hummus or how about a little guac if we want to. This is not messy and even drivers would eat this in the car right. if somebody holds the dip cup. Right. That works. Right. <laughs> Safety first. That's right. Safety <laughs> first always. And then now even things like the noodles have been reformulated. They've added vegetables to them. So this is See another that. one that is an easy option. And then I think we think about our packaging. Love the idea of this. How cool is this? So your various oh, snacks for all the kids, they could pack. I want a little bit of this, this, and this. So you can only fit so many gummy bears in there. That's a positive. And then you could load up with a little bit more of other of types other things. of things. Yeah. These are great. These are beet chips. Oh, I've they never are heard delicious. of beet chips. Delicious. And so it's not messy like a beet. They're crunchy. They're a little bit sweet. Nothing else added but the beet itself. Huh. 
Oh, These how are about awesome. that? And the beat goes on. <laughs> and then, you know, even the idea Dancing of the nuts is, you know, whether it is a pistachio or even these I love because they're portion controlled. Indulgent peanut butter, but you can squeeze it right out. So that's easy so for anybody it. to eat. And if you're allergic to peanut, we've got options. There are sunflower butters, there are nut butters, butters, all different kinds. Great. And so it looks like you have uh, the real snacks down here. This is my kind of thing. Yeah. And so when we're looking at snack items, there's a lot of different options out there on the marketplace. So first of all, these are really cool. These are made from a pea protein. So it's just a protein puff. It tastes kind of like a Cheeto and has that consistency to right. it. But you're getting some vegetable here. 10 and grams some protein of protein in that bag. Without a lot of calories in it. And that's a very easy, non messy thing to have. But we also have the option of looking at a chip, a bean chip, made from bean instead of other types of things. Kind so of you're getting the vegetable, yeah. and they're very, very filling, and they're very good. Or even for people who can't tolerate gluten, this is a lentil chip. So it's an option to do these types of things. They're flavorful, they're filling, but they don't fill you out. Right, and I know buying these things on the road, everything is... The well, yes, you're going to pay. So you can yeah. buy in bulk. You can package the way you want right. to. You can be strategic with it. And for those occasional times when we have the GI issues on the road, you know, people say, but it really is true. Get Think about prunes. the prunes. Yeah. Do those prunes. Okay. <laughs> Good tips, Leslie. <laughs> and for more of Leslie Bonzi's healthy living, healthy living tips, watch her winning plate segments here on PTL. And check out her website. You'll find that link at kdka.com slash PTL.